San Marzano, a prolific tomato variety that is great for cooking and preparing paste. So let's take a look at San Marzano. So in my area, which is zone 9, the last frost date is around March. And in April, you can see that the transplants are growing pretty well. And in the initial phase of the growth, you need to provide the right kind of fertilizers to the tomato plants. And you can see those details on the video link that you see here. Now around May, the plant will start flowering and this is a good time to hand pollinate them if you don't have a lot of wind or bees in your area. Always grow tomatoes in full sun. That's one tip that I always tell my fellow gardeners. They need all that sun to prepare for a lush growth in the season. And you can see here during the initial starting phase, the first two, three months, the tomatoes produce a lot of foliage. And eventually as you get into the flowering and fruiting season, which is around June, you will see that the foliage production reduces and the plant starts producing a lot of tomatoes. Now this variety of tomato, the San Marzano, is one of the most prolific tomatoes I've grown. They produce large sized fruits, excellent for paste and general cooking as well. Now in about mid-June, you can start harvesting your tomatoes, especially if you want to ripen them on the shelf. So just make sure they're slightly red and then you can harvest them. And they will take about a couple of days to ripen completely on the shelf. Here are some big ones that you can see. They are formed in these huge clusters and they're pretty large tomatoes. For Roma tomatoes, these are Roma kind tomatoes. And for Roma kind tomatoes, they are pretty large. And they have their unique shape and a very thick body, which makes them an ideal candidate for making tomato paste or tomato sauce. So here you can see this bowl of tomatoes that was harvested and they look pretty good. Now if you wait for some time, you will see that the tomatoes will ripen on the vine and these will give you the best tasting tomatoes ever. The tomatoes that ripen on the vine in the sun, they are pretty much the best tasting tomatoes that you will have. So you can see here again large clusters of tomatoes still being formed and the plant will continue to form tomatoes right through September or even October. And let's look at some more tomatoes that we're harvesting here. And remember that San Marzano is an indeterminate tomato variety, which means that it will keep producing vines that will keep producing tomatoes as long as the weather is suitable for growing tomatoes which pretty much means throughout the growing season till about October in Southern California. So I wanted to show you how these tomatoes look like when they're cut open. And these are classic Roma kind of tomatoes. And let's see how they look like. So as you can see here, there is a lot of flesh in this tomato, very few seeds. Now that is a classic characteristic of Roma kind of tomatoes because you want to use that extra flesh in the tomatoes to create pastes or if you're cooking your tomatoes you need that extra volume. Now if you try to cook the tomatoes that have a lot of seeds and water in them you're not going to get that kind of consistency when you cook them. So for creating sauces, paste, it's excellent. And remember the joy of growing your own vegetables is much more than just the vegetables. For example, here's my son helping me harvest these tomatoes and it's an absolute joy for him to just come to the garden, look at all these ripe vegetables, ready for harvest and then enjoy harvesting them. Not only do they like to harvest these, they also love to eat them. So that's a really good way to teach your kids and how to grow your own food, eat healthy, eat a lot of vegetables and fruits in their diet and by growing your own food it just makes it so easy. So I would like to know from you have you tried growing this tomato variety before and if not do you think you'd be giving it a shot? Do let me know and I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening!